Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ryan, and today I'm going to be reviewing a beer from the Idiom Brewing Company, and they are based out of Frederick, Maryland. And this is their Kindred Spirits. This is a New England IPA coming in at 6.5% ABV. This is hopped with Citra and Callista. Uh, also saw on the web, yeah, this is their core or flagship New England IPA. Uh, it boasts a blend of pale English malt, flaked oats, and malted white wheat in the mash and then it's hopped in excess of six per BBL with a mix of Callista and Citra hops so that went over my head perhaps beer man can explain that to me um, they don't do canned on dates unfortunately However, I do know that they uh, they sell this fairly well and make it often. I got this from the tap room just two weeks ago. So I'm going to assume it's pretty fresh. Let's bust it open. Full disclosure, I have had this before. Just never reviewed it on the channel. It has been a little bit since I've had it. Hashtag proper glassware. We'll do that. So that pours out a light yellow, hazy, murky color with half a finger of rocky white head. One day, maybe I'll get a camera that auto-zooms. Let's get a whiff. So we get pineapple, lychee, some like gooseberry. Yeah, pineapple and tropical fruits. Uh, so again, uh, the pineapple, the lychee, then I'm getting red berries, a gooseberry, um, maybe a touch of strawberry in there as well. There's also a slight dankness that I'm getting. Uh, kind of on the last little whiff there, I get a slight dankness. And that dankness is uh, getting a little more prominent as it warms up. This has been out of my refrigerator maybe 15 minutes now. I'm gonna go in. Let's get a, let's get a sip. Cheers. Lower side of medium body. It does have uh, it does have a creaminess to it. Slight creamy mouthfeel. Get that pineapple. Get that lychee. Maybe a bit of passion fruit too. And the uh, the gooseberry. Definitely getting gooseberry.
there's a bit of dankness on the finish. It's kind of like a, a Mary Jane dankness. And it's finishing a, a touch dry. Just a touch dry. I, I would say this is well balanced. I, I can see why this is a their core or flagship New England IPA. It's a uh, it's got good flavor. It's got a nice mouth feel. It's also got you know a touch of that bitter and dryness on the end. It, it's a well well rounded beer, and only six point five percent ABV. You can have a couple of these and, and, and not feel it. How about that? <laughs> it's not like a triple IPA where you have one and you're like, I probably might be one and done here. Yep. Lychee really, uh, really kind of shines in this one. It starts out with pineapple, but then the pineapple kind of gets knocked out of the way quickly by the lychee flavor. I, I do like this. This is this is very good. Well, uh, I don't think there's much more I'm going to be able to say out of this uh, for this. Um, so a score. I'm going to give this a 4.1 out of 5. Again, it's a it's a great beer. It's it's almost a sessionable New England IPA. Um, yeah, it, it, it's a good beer. It's not a you know mind blowing beer by any means, but. Uh, this would almost be, I would say, a good New England IPA to give to somebody who has never tried a New England IPA, has only drank lagers and pilsners and, and macro beers their entire life. Um, I would say this would be a good introductory um, beer for a New England IPA. So, with that said, hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button if you would like to see more of my videos. And comment down below. Uh, have you had anything from Idiom Brewing Company? Or have you had uh, other low ABV, possibly sessionable uh, New England IPAs? Uh, and or what's, what's your favorite sessionable New England IPA? Until next time, peace.